I ended up running the marathon. Early morning coffee, new morning routine, focusing on recovery, chilling out, trying to do some great work, because they're like, they're insane. You gotta keep your water up. I try to drink one of these every morning. I gotta get home for some trick-or-treating action. I tried to create a system. Perfect Brian day, our accountancy meeting. We signed a new client maybe a week ago. New MacBooks, new Mac laptops. I would say that it's pretty damn good. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is, it's actually Tuesday. It is a bank holiday here in Dublin, in Ireland. And last Sunday, I ended up running the marathon, which was 42.46 kilometers. Took me just over four hours and 26 minutes, I think. And for anyone who's been following along, I've been kind of on this journey of trying to get this marathon done. And now that it's complete, I'm very, very proud that I got the marathon done. But now that it's complete, I'm very much into recovery now at the moment and trying to just press pause on as much of the kind of the exercise or pushing myself crazy on the exercise side of things. And instead just focusing on recovery, chilling out and trying to do some great work, but doing it in a way where I'm not pushing myself constantly or I'm not on the edge all the time because I've definitely felt in the last while where I've been like just pedal to the floor pushing it so hard and different facets or different parts of my life really struggling because I'm just giving it all in every direction and I don't think I'm doing a great job in in all of those directions versus just taking some time now for myself where I can kind of focus on figuring out what is the best day for me what does a what does a fantastic day look like for me and implementing those things so I'm trying to at the moment I'm trying to create a system a system that would be what is the the perfect Brian day uh, I'm just gonna focus on the weekdays for now and kind of craft out what that day looks like so I'm gonna bring you guys through the work that I've done so far on that but first it is time for a nice coffee you got to keep your water up I try to drink one of these every morning Okay, so once I grab my early morning coffee, I've now set up this new morning routine, which I'm slowly starting to figure out which is the most optimal way for me to start each morning. So I've broken it down by two different categories. Number one, with exercise, and number two, without. So depending on which is happening, so I kind of block these out as Tuesday and Thursday, I'm gonna do exercise, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, uh, I'm not. So then I've kind of broken down the different timelines of what time my morning starts at, what time I'm leaving the house at, what time I'm gonna to get to my desk. And this is mainly because the traffic in Dublin can just be absolutely insane. So it's trying to make sure that I'm as maximized with my time as possible. When I'm in the car, I'll always try to listen to a cheeky little podcast or something in order to make things as uh, productive as possible, but also within the realm of not overcooking my brain before I get to the office. Once I get here, the biggest thing I'm trying to do is to jump into a communication sprint. So this is where I will look through all of my email, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, YouTube, Instagram, all of the different potential methods that somebody can get in contact with me. And the rules for this are, number one, if anything takes less than five minutes to respond to, I'm gonna to respond to it there and then. If anything takes longer than five minutes, I'm gonna add it to Todoist. Okay, so I open up Todoist and let's say I was going through my email, I found a new task. And so I can hit uh, Command Control A and then um, respond to Paul about sales, about something, let's say. So I just add each and everything into Todoist, and then 
once I've gone through all of my communications and once I've added everything into Todoist, I next open up that and what I want to do is assign each of them to a project. So here on the left we'll see handover and engineering, sales, YouTube, personal and learning. Right now two things in here and the goal within Todoist is first of all to add them to the correct category. So here I've got add marathon footage to the video folder which is for this week's video and number two that new one that I've just added. So I would drag this one into sales and I would drag this one into YouTube and then you'll see like the different numbers going down on the different lists. So the next goal really is to open up the actual calendar itself. So what I want to do is plot each of those to do's against a calendar slot where I'm going to get them done. So if I open up my calendar uh, here, for example, you'll see today's kind of block. And the way that these are done is so anything gray is travel. I've got focus blocks, breaks, health, family and meetings. If I take a look at, let's say, the sales focus block or the different uh, meetings that I have, I've one here to record a YouTube video, for example. What I can do is check my Todoist. When I look for sales, I can see there's something in here to respond to Paul. So what I do is I find the next available slot for that, which is in here, and I would edit this and I would add into the description, respond to Paul about something. Oh, I'll just grab this and stick that in there and then hit save. And then what I do is I check this off and say that it's been done. It's not really a to-do list, it's more like a, like a triage system, but I'll go through each of these items and add them to the respective block. And that ensures that I get them all done and that I know when I'm gonna get them done. And then you kind of, you start to see different blocks coming through. So here, for example, I gotta respond to a lot of different items or I have an engineering block here or I gotta go get my hair cut tomorrow. And everything is kind of all broken down into different blocks and categories. So once everything is gone from Todoist onto the calendar, I'll then start to uh, do, do, do. I'll have everything kind of boxed off and finished on Todoist. And so whenever I wanna add something new as something kind of comes up, like somebody could just tap me on the shoulder and say, hey, could you think about this or whatever it might be? I can either hit Control Shift A and add that item, which will be added to my inbox. And then I will have a look at that the next time that I'm going through all of my to-dos or on my phone. I also have a little button here where I can just tap on this and add the next task. This so far has been the most optimal strategy where I'm getting to the office at a reasonable hour I'm getting all of my items plotted against my calendar for the week and I'll set up the different blocks uh, because let's say I want to focus on sales, there should be more sales blocks in my calendar for the week ahead than there are others and it gives me a really high level view to ensure that I'm working on the problems that I really want to work on over the course of the next week and then every Sunday I'll start to block off more of my calendar. I think I'm like two weeks into the future now where I'm blocking off different uh, focus blocks for the things I want to work on as well, which is awesome. That is currently how my, my morning routine works. Um, but next up we have a meeting with a really large B2C brand that are big in Dublin. So I gotta get prepared for that. Let's go. So we had a fantastic meeting with the proposal, but then we've now realized that Apple have released new MacBooks, new Mac laptops, and they're black. And Jack has a huge passion for everything in dark mode. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta stick one in the basket. Oh, it's already in, it's on the way. Would you go 14 or 16? 14. How much? Well, we're only, we're only speaking it to see you. We haven't really gotten there yet. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Would you order the new MacBook? Here it is, Apple M3. But after the proposal, I need to follow up. So actually all of the deck that I presented was in the old Clever Growth Agency colors and so on. It needs to be all updated to Mini Corp and then I gotta send that on. And then hopefully we're gonna get news on that one by the end of this week or early next week. 
After that, it was straight into our accountancy meeting with the legend that is Carl. All very positive, all great news. It's always a bit daunting going into any accountancy meeting because you're always, hmm. But it was all very positive, which is fantastic. Everything we're doing is going in such a positive direction. And the overall sentiment is just kind of keep going, essentially. So it's great to get that positive news. Also got to go to Ethos and have an amazing acai bowl, which I really enjoyed. And Jack gets an acai bowl every Every single day. Um, what else happened? I'll try to get like some footage of an acai bowl <laughs> to stick in here because they're like they're insane. Then I actually bumped into Des, when a Des trainer from Intercom when I was in Ethos and it was great to see him. All the positive vibes for the marathon which is amazing. But now we signed, we signed a new client maybe a week ago and we're now starting this new kind of a process. And this new process is once the sale has gone through and once all of the contracts and signed and, and all of that is kind of completed, it's to hand over the client successfully to, to Keith and to Jag and to the entire team. So the guys from uh, Contencio is the name of the company are coming here in, in 40 minutes and we've set up a meeting just to kind of introduce everybody, say hello to everyone. So looking forward to doing that. Let's go. My next event today is I got to get home for some trick-or-treating action. I think overall, if I was to review my new morning routine and trying to get everything as pragmatically done in a very time optimized fashion, I would say that it's pretty damn good. Overall, number one, trying to do your emails only once or twice per day saves so much time. I would love to get it to a point where I can actually hire an assistant or somebody to go through my emails and to follow this process. So what I'm trying to do is slowly start to build this entire thing up in Notion and to write out all of the details in what I'm calling Brian's brain. What I wanna be able to do is to invite somebody in to this Notion document at some point and say, please follow this routine and follow the process and the systems and the structure that I've created in this document so that I can get more and more and more of my time back. And then the more time that I have, the more that I can focus on growing the business, I can focus on sales, BD, strategy, all the stuff that I absolutely love. That's what I don't love all the other stuff. It's just trying to get as structured as possible. And setting up good systems means that you can unplug yourself from different areas of the business and plug somebody else in there there to free you up to kind of get to the next level. So very happy about all of that. It is now time to get some jellies and go trick or treating with the kids. Appreciate you all for watching this episode. Hope you loved it. If you did, thummies, uppies, subscribies, all the things. Catch you all next week. Let's go.